Hello everybody, welcome to Indigo Terra Odyssey. How is everybody? Today we're using the beautiful Divine Nature. So gorgeous. These cards came up for a client of mine last night and I was like, oh, I want to use these in today's reading. As a combination, they're so wholly perfect. And I just heard something so wonderful about how, you know, in our day to day, in our moment to moment, not everything is going to be the arrival of something shiny and spectacular, uh, the new and the undiscovered, the fusion of excitement and adrenaline. You know, sometimes there are just beautiful moments where we can have awareness of what we should do next to create more of those moments. You know, they're sort of the in-between. And that reminded me of the Engager Invisibles because that talks about, you know, whether we believe in mythical creatures or guardian angels or spirit guides, you have the forces moving on your behalf that are guarding and guiding your soul journey. And if you're aware of them, now is really the time to contact them. Inquire, investigate, and ask for their help. You know, if you don't know who they are, suspend your disbelief call and conjure them in the quiet spaces. That's sometimes when we're doing self-reflection and the fabulous and the shiny and the new aren't being presented left, right, and center as they shouldn't be because we would be overwhelmed. It's almost like if it was our birthday and we walked into a room and there were 800 presents. It would be like, how am I going to cherish and care for each one of these? There's so many at once. I wish I just had three so I could slowly anticipate and unwrap. That's why we receive what we receive when we do, so we can cherish it, understand, have reflection, right? Whether in relaxation, prayer, meditation, dream work, or just our active imagination, invite these invisibles in to engage with us, ask for support and assistance in what we need. And also it could be in identifying our next move on our path. Now this, oops, this Create Your Stillness, I feel, is one of the most beautiful cards. I just love this. As soon as I saw it, I was like, it was so refreshing and it was just calming to look at for me. I felt like my eyes and my neck and my cheeks relaxed, my jaw, my, sh you know, my back relaxed. I was like, I just felt like, oh, I want to go swimming or take a nice cool shower. It was just, you know, um, this way in this in the book, this talks about our quest right now is to soothe that kind of churning sea and calm the waves of thought and concern and create an intentional solitude to let the stillness at our core rise and meet all these shifting tides of our mind. Because when we court stillness, we can find clarity and then we can find the next step on our path. And we're not necessarily um, just looking for mindless distractions, scrolling on IG, whatever, buying things online munching on ice cream, doing whatever. It's like really creating stillness. And you know, it's like when the mud settles and that water is clear, we can really see what's going on. I like that in terms of people speaking to us in a way that we have to really figure out our own interpretation. Are we just going to react, you know, because of somebody else's ill-spoken words? No, we let that mud settle so we can see clearly, oh, were they just hurt? Did something just happen to them? Did they just have a bad day at work? Like, let's take a moment, you know, creating stillness for me is saying, I have no plans. There is an absence of plans simply so I can think and be in my thoughts. And again, engage with our invisibles. That's so helpful. You know, not seeking, not expecting, just being present, then we can welcome all things, which I love because I feel like that's when the right things arise in our stillness of our mind and saying, what wants to present itself? And then seeing and asking the bigger questions, why is this presenting itself? Is it something that I should journey towards? Whether you just keep seeing art supplies, whether you keep seeing a specific person, it suggests itself really beautifully, which brings us to twirl. I took a picture of this card yesterday and I just held it out for a screenshot to put on IG and it had all trees and sky in the background and it just fit in so beautifully. And I just love this. It reminds me of this wooded area that I love to walk through. And at some points you see or hear nothing but animals and forests. And it's so lovely, waveny, it's absolute heaven. And I feel like in there, we do run and dance and twirl me and my offspring. We have a great time. And in the book, it talks about the secret to an enchanted life is to remember the playfulness 
at the heart of our divine child. That child never went anywhere. It lives in you. It's a magnetic force. It really influences every creative thought, relationship, project, or endeavor. Just think when you, when you hear people say, oh, what do you think about this person? And you're like, I like them because we have fun together, right? Children, when they're young and they, they, the divine child goes on energy and they, the relatability of the energy of that person, not they dress like this, they act like this. No, it is like their energy is fun and playful. You know, I love this. Letting go of responsibilities, requirements. This is just engaging in play and allowing yourself to spontaneously skip down the grocery store aisle. You know, stand out in a rainstorm, talk to the trees, listen to the trees, follow the fireflies, and then go another step further and put play on the schedule. As soon as I woke up, I was thinking of that. I looked around and I saw my living room and all my cool stuff. And I was like, I am going to do some of those those fun and wild paintings that we used to use our hand remember we'd make turkeys on thanksgiving and all those crazy things i'm like i want to finger paint today and prioritize the play court the wonders of the natural world watch i like also watching a nature channel the best nature thing i have seen in i think probably my life because it just engaged me so much was the chimpanzee empire over on netflix it just engaged me and immediately made me feel peaceful. You're deep in the Ugandan forest and then you met these wonderful chimps and how they forged alliances and families and just breathtaking. And I thought, this is play and wonder on another level because a lot of their day is just play with each other. And I thought, it's just, it, the, whole, the whole thing was so engaging and beautiful. And when we connect with our divine child, we find reasons to love more. We find reasons to be excited more because children aren't like, well, I have, you know, five of these handbags and I have all of these followers. Kids, young kids that are playful do not care about what they are acquiring and collecting. It's what they're experiencing. So go pocket those beautiful moments today whenever you can. Put on your favorite song. I love Justin Timberlake's um, dance. Like whenever that's on and I see all the different people and faces dancing, it gets me in such a good mood. Music works as a great conduit for our inner child, things of that nature. And what I will do for you guys too is tomorrow I will do a lovely flip through of this deck. It is simply magic. It is embodies some of my favorite sentiments and ideas this twirl is just so lovely you know there's a card in it that's like bubble up and it's this wonderful um girl just sitting on a pillow inside a bubble and all these beautiful flowers around her and just utter gorgeousness so my beauties that is what you are meant to hear today i hope you all have a great day if anybody's interested in a private read i have all my information in the description box everybody have a great day